If you clicked on this video, then you're probably wanting to know how to create these insane and popular invisible video effects for your music video or short film. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create this awesome VFX effect. Now I'm going to be using just after effects for this tutorial. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of how to use after effects. Check the description for the link of this footage, import your footage and create a new composition. We'll call it VFX aspect ratio 1920 by 1080. This is a four by five aspect ratio frame rate. Sync it with your footage for that buttery smooth rotoscope result. Hit OK. Drag your footage down the timeline like this. Set a key frame where the effect starts, then clone your layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. Slice it with Ctrl plus Shift plus D and make the excess disappear with the delete key. Rename the layer Roto. Grab the Roto brush tool, double click the top layer and start brushing your subject like this. I'm not going to explain it properly in this video. It's pretty simple and there's like a million tutorials on Roto Brush tool on YouTube. Turn off the footage layer and this is how it looks after getting the rotoscope. Then bring back the footage and slide the Roto layer underneath. Clone the footage layer again, trim the footage, and let's call this new layer Mask. Turn off the footage and mask layer for now. With the pen tool, draw a mask around your subject. You don't have to be super accurate to create this mask, just get a rough mask. And set a keyframe for the mask path, and then in every frame, just check it to make sure she's still in the frame. After a quick masking session, hit the invert button and pre-compose. Dive into the pre-composition, by double clicking on it and select the layer, go to the window, click on the content aware fill. Make sure the fill method option is selected object and the range option is selected work area. Now click on generate fill layer when your cursor is on the first frame. Now if you have a powerful PC, it will not take a long time. But if you have a low end PC, then it will take a little bit longer. And there you have it. Your subject has vanished. If you are creating a high budget short film or music video, I'd recommend you use the Nuke plugin. Because as you can see over here, it's all warped. The background isn't moving correctly and it doesn't look real. But the Nuke plugin is a paid plugin. It will give you that Hollywood sparkle. But if your wallet's on a diet, Content Aware Fill is your trusty sidekick. It gets the job done without breaking the bank. Select your main composition. Drag the footage layer to the top of the layer stack. Turn off the visibility of the footage layer for now. Select the mask layer. Search for the displacement map effect and apply it to the mask layer. Navigate to the effects control panel. Set the displacement map layer to roto. And change the source to effects and masks. Change both the horizontal and vertical displacement settings to luminance. Increase the max horizontal displacement and max vertical displacement values. You should start to see your invisible character. Click on warp pixels around to give your character a softer look. Turn the visibility of the footage layer back on. Set an opacity keyframe. Move 15 frames behind this keyframe. Set another keyframe and decrease the opacity value to zero. This will create a soft transition. And that's a wrap on the invisible effect. If you had a blast and learned something cool, smash that like button and light up the comments with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Catch you in the next video.